Hey, welcome back, friends. Uh, if you're just joining us now and you haven't been here before, uh, my name is Daniel. My wife, LZ, and I travel full time in our converted cargo trailer. And I wanted to update everyone who's been following along with our uh, saga of leaks on uh, how I think we've finally uh, solved the leak issue. And this is the way I probably should have done it from the very beginning, um, but I didn't have the materials and I was just trying to find a way to do it. So if you watched the last video, um, I went through how I tried to do it with a flex seal spray and the problem with that was the flex seal was really really runny um, so it didn't actually create a firm seal um, so uh, that made quite a bit of a mess and I had to do a lot of uh, scraping and wiping off uh, to get rid of that rubber uh, using goof off ethanol soap and water it basically took me uh, two afternoons to, to get rid of all of it um, even though I only did a few seams on the trailer. Um, but, you know, live and learn. Um, so what we actually finally did is uh, this product finally came in, which is what I wanted to do from the beginning. And this stuff is uh, Lexel. Um, so this uh, sticks perfectly to aluminum. Um, and that's what we have on the trailer. And it came out really really well um i've always avoided or wanted to avoid caulking in the past i think probably because uh i've always had bad caulk guns um, i've always bought the ones from like home depot or lowe's that are like probably like the five eight dollar ones probably a 10 to 1 compression ratio and by the second use they've exploded the the caulking that i'm using and i can't get rid of it and it's just a mess um and so i hate caulking but I purchased this guy off of Amazon um, and it's a 26 to 1 compression ratio and that made I think all the difference. It's much more heavy duty and that combined with how easy the Lexel flows I think was, uh, was absolutely great. So let me show you kind of like how that's looking right now. <laughs> We've got a escape we've got an escapee <laughs> we shaka escaped uh, goats what are you gonna do um okay so that was the main seal that i was worried about and these screw holes um here i think that was where some of the leaks was coming and so you can see i think this turned out really well because i initially had sprayed this whole seam here and it had uh, created basically like this. I wasn't able to take this part of the rubber off um, because I ran out of goof off. So I'm going to come back and redo that one later. But you can see that Lexel just beat it up so, so nicely here. And so after I saw that, I went ahead and I did redid every single seam. <laughs> it's, all, it's all my fault. <laughs> so every single seam was redone. Oh, Bushaka, you want to say hi to the camera? Huh? You want to say hi to the camera there? <laughs> That's a good girl. Huh? So, I think that's finally going to fix our issue. I, I went around and I did, I literally did every single seam on the driver's side. And now I'm going to do the passenger side as well, and then do the rear and front. I'm just gonna do every single seam I possibly can find and uh, just be done with the, the leak issue. I'm tired of leaks. Um, one cool thing is Colorado Trailers sent us um, a rain guard. So as I showed before, every other opening has a rain guard above it, except that window. Um, so I don't know if this is part of the issue or not, um, but it'd be nice to be able to keep rain off of that window because we've just had so many issues with that window. Um, so that was nice of them. I haven't taken this plastic off yet. And i um, probably going to install that in the next week or so. Get that up right above that window. Then every single opening will have a rain guard. And then on top of that, every single seam in the trailer will be sealed. So I think that's really going to make all the difference. Um, I had started filming put this guy back here. I started filming this as a full-on video. Um, uh, but I wasn't gonna have time this week to put that video out to edit it. Um, 
because we're driving to LA uh, starting tomorrow actually for a few days. Um, LZ has some family coming into town so we're gonna go up there and we're gonna hang out with uh, them for a few days um, but I wanted to get this out there to kind of update everyone of what you should do which is use the Lexel. Um, I'm gonna probably have to order another tube because I'm already halfway through on this tube just doing the driver side of the trailer seams and uh, to get the whole trailer I think it's gonna take more than another half of the tube to do it um, but that's okay um, as long as everything is sealed up and bulletproof I'm I'm happy uh, so let me know what you guys think of, uh, of watching um, live streams. Uh, I really enjoyed the video making process of curating and editing and um, sometimes scripting, sometimes I don't script. Um, the video kind of depends on what type of video it is. Um, but for some content, I think it's just easier and quicker uh, to do it as a live stream or to do it as a short, depending on the, um, the topic um, and get that kind of out there a lot more timely you know I've got all these video ideas uh, that are just backed up because of timing you know you actually have to do the project we have other things going on in life as well that get in the way um, so I don't know, let me know what you guys think I'd like to do more more live streams and if uh, people jump on more and want to interact uh, that'd be cool too to actually develop a little bit of a community um, I think there's a lot of topics that are good to maybe flesh out more in a live stream than a curated edited video um, that has the long format I think has its place uh, like the cargo trailer 101 build series that I'm currently working on this is gonna take a little while to get that out but I'm currently working on that um, that's much more of a long format edited video because um, that way I can show and tell I can't have images and links and stuff pop up on a live stream uh, unless I have a physical prop you know um, and when I'm trying to cover such a big topic like a whole 101 building out a cargo trailer like what considerations for all the different aspects it's a multi-episode in a long format there's no way I feel like I could do justice on a live stream for something like that um, but for something little updates like this like I don't know do I really need to make that a uh, 10 minute edited video um, I don't think so. I think it's uh, easier and uh, maybe more watchable just to jump on and kind of have a chat with you guys rather than uh, curate something. Uh, so a little more unfiltered, uh, raw, uh, real life uh, video. Um, kind of enjoy that. So let me know what you guys think. I'm also over on our Patreon. I'm starting to um, put up more uh, personal videos, I guess. Uh, a little bit more behind the scenes of this lifestyle with LZA and myself, um, kind of a little bit more about us. Um, and I'm planning on doing those videos quite often, kind of more like a, a vlog, a daily vlog type of thing. Um, I'm not going through and editing those. They're pretty raw and uncut, um, but uh, I'm putting them over there for now because here is much more right now educational based off of this lifestyle and what we're doing or travel based um i think that's i just naturally default to that coming as being a, a previous educator you know being an organic chemist and having taught you know hundreds of students and mentored a lot of people um i think i tend to default to that um which is fine that's uh i think that's why uh you know i go on youtube a lot myself is to learn something to to, to seek a topic and learn how to do something or learn about something um, and if it's entertaining in the process that's a bonus uh, so yeah i think the platform's great for that but anywho i think uh I'm gonna leave it there guys just wanted to jump on for a quick little video to update you guys um, but yeah seriously let me know what you think about the live streams you know, should I do more of these? Like, I'm willing to do like a daily live stream. I've got so many different topics to to talk about and stuff. So, if that's something you guys are interested, in, uh, give us a like. And uh, I guess we'll be joined by the goats. This is Ganesh. <laughs> you're a terror. Yeah, you're cute. You're cute, but you're a terror. Yeah. Whoa, boy. What am I gonna do with you? Okay. Uh, 
All right. So I guess uh, the goats and I are going to sign off. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Bye. <laughs>